Good morning, gang. It's your boy, Glow. Welcome to a brand new week. This week, we are diving into a series called Ready or Not. And my hope during this week is that we will discover and unpack God's heart and purpose for preparation. I'm gonna go ahead and rip the Band-Aid off. It's not that you're not talented. It's not that you're not called. It's not even that you're not anointed. Your problem is you're not as prepared as you need to be when opportunity shows up. I hope is that we would develop a brand new relationship with the way that we think about and the way that we engage with preparation. Because here is the reality. We will progress at the level in which we prepare. If you do not prepare to be great, you will not experience the reality of the greatness that God placed inside of you. Here's the thing. Everyone has greatness inside of them but you have to prepare in order to experience that greatness you have to create space for that greatness to show up you know that there's greatness on the inside of you that's why you wake up frustrated you wake up and you're like man i know there's more i know i can do more i'm capable of more your problem is not your ability your problem may lie in the arena of your preparation here's what i need you to know about preparation preparation is an act of faith there are so many things things that we have prayed for so many things that we have believed God for talked to God for and when we when God looked at us he was like you don't really believe that I can do that you don't really believe that you can get that because you prayed for it but you didn't prepare for it and I'm here to tell you sometimes you got to let your prayer life lead you into a preparation life here's the thing if you're praying for rain to come because you are a farmer but you never go outside and you till your ground then you don't really believe that rain is coming see the person who prays for rain then they go outside and they till the ground they, they till their field they plant their seeds even though it's 180 degrees sunny no clouds in sight but that person knows that my prayer is being heard by God so I need to prepare for the day when God answers I need to be prepared when rain comes I want to be stuck out here in, in in the yard trying to figure out how to till my ground in all muddy no i want my ground to be prepared for when rain comes preparation is an act of faith and i'm here to tell you right now this is the season of preparation you cannot afford to go into any more days of your life unprepared in this season of our lives we cannot afford to go into another day unprepared preparation is our greatest tool and our greatest weapon and the enemy knows that so so the enemy wants you to think that when you pray god didn't hear you god doesn't care or he wants you to think that the promise that god made you wasn't really for real like God is still in no business. But the reality is preparation allows us to create space for what God said to, to hit our lives. But one of my great mentors told me this. He said, success is when preparation meets opportunity. That's when you experience success. I want to give us three powers of preparation today. The first power of preparation is this. Preparation protects faith. When we actively prepare, when we actively engage in preparation, we keep the thing that we pray for or the thing that God said to us on the forefront of our minds. And it's hard to be doubtful. It's hard for doubt to creep in or fear to creep in when you know that you are preparing for what you prayed for and for what God told you is coming. The second power of preparation is this. Preparation produces Time. Did you know that preparation is like a time machine? In preparation, it's a prophetic gesture. In preparation, we get we get a chance to go into the future. We get a chance to sit into the future, sit inside the future and say, okay, I'm preparing right now. What may come? What if this happens? Or, or when this happens, what does the next move need to be made when I do? So when you engage in preparation, you actually create a space where you are producing time. You're producing measures of time where you don't have to sit inside of trying to figure out a problem that you've already thought about because when you sit in preparation you get to think about everything before it even comes you get to think about okay what if there's traffic okay what if I got to go another way okay what if I wake up late let me prepare for any scenario and inside of preparation we get a chance to produce time and the third and final power of preparation that I want to share with us today is this preparation brings 
peace. There is nothing like knowing that you are prepared. There is nothing more assuring than preparation. If you got a date or it's the first day of school, it's the first day of your job, and you prepare for that day, you prepare for that upcoming thing, the night before, you chilling. You're not around stressing, you're not trying to figure, you're not stumbling over yourself, you're not worried, you're not anxious, you're not afraid that you're gonna miss an opportunity because you have prepared for it. So there is a level of peace that comes through preparation. That's all I got for you. I'm gonna pray for us and then we are gonna get up out of here. Right, Father, thank you so much for this day. Thank you for revealing to us the power and the importance of preparation. Here's the reality. You got some things on the way. They are coming to us. Miracles are coming. Answer prayers are coming. Uh, opportunities are coming and we will find ourselves prepared. So Lord, lead us in preparation. Help us to prepare this week for the greatness that you have coming so we can experience the good life that you have prepared for us. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. Hey, listen, I love y'all. It's the gang way. It's the God way. If you like this video, leave a comment, share it with somebody, like it. I love y'all. Until tomorrow, peace.